Hi, welcome to a Bio Devils podcast. I haven't been here in a while. Uh, my name is Dom, so <laughs> you all can, uh, I don't know, get get hyped that I'm back. I guess I don't know. Uh, anyway, let me go ahead and introduce our guests here. Uh, we are going to be talking about RE4 Remake DLC and. Uh, I couldn't talk about this DLC without bringing on my two best friends. Brandon, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, hello, everyone. Yes, the MVP is here. The man that's carrying two channels. Thank you for having me again, though. And uh, yeah, uh, that's for life. And of course, I got Mr. Devil Hunter James. Show me the demon. What? And show me this gameplay. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so, not Mercs. Sadly, no Mercs gameplay, but we do have gameplay of separate ways, and that is a fucking spoon. I do apologize. Um, but yeah, we do have, uh, some separate ways gameplay. Uh, and separate ways is looking different, not too different there's obviously similarities of course but different enough to where it feels like this is a potential improvement over the original but i don't know how you guys feel i think more dynamic might be the right word could be yeah i i could see that brandle i say different is a better way of saying it um, aside from maybe potential gameplay elements being an improvement for her, like her grappling hook having more, you know, importance in gameplay, in contrast to, well, literally every other version of the game that had a grappling hook, I would say, like, it's just, it feels like, it feels more the same, but different, just like how you could describe RE4 Remake itself. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess you could describe that, um... That's the one similarity that this DLC has, is that it's following that same same but different type of feel, or like, yeah, it's still the same stuff that you recognize, but it's not necessarily the same per se. Hence different. So, um... So there is gameplay here, uh, I did pull it up, but I, I'm not sure if there was any more aside from uh, this one, and if you guys have any, feel free to just drop it in the chat here and we'll kind of go over that. Um, but I did want to go over some of this gameplay in particular here from uh, Eurogamer, because um, they did show off a bit of stuff from separate ways, including the El Gigante uh, boss fight. Um, and I wanted to kind of break that down with you guys and take a look at what is in particular different and what sort of uh, interesting things we can kind of notice that we didn't see in like, say the main game or even just the original separate ways. All right, want to like watch it right now or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so what I see different? Yeah, 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 because, uh, and, and you can pull up, like, timestamps and stuff like that, too, because, or, or if you want, we could kind of, like, time this. I, I don't really <laughs> know how you guys want to do this. However, however you guys want to do this, we could, we could do it, however. Well, you know, you could just stream it on your end. I could, yeah. I could, yeah, hold on, can I even? You have internet, you have the power. Now. Yes, I have power. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll stream it, and then, um... Yeah, like I said, if you guys have like extra gameplay that I don't know about or haven't seen yet, then just drop it down here in chat and uh, we'll pull that up real quick. Uh, so I'm actually not even gonna start from the beginning per se, cause it's just kind of like a rundown of like what to, to expect. Nothing really new in this beginning portion. Um, so we're gonna start like right about here. Of course. Don't worry, Leon. First time's free. And there's Lily uh, Gal. Back at it again. Uh, that's the only part of this DLC that's giving me go, uh. Yeah, 
So, and one thing I wanted to point out here, um, actually I should probably make this full screen, right? Uh, whenever this fucking thing goes away. I, I'm kind of wondering if any of that, uh, that extra treasure deal, see if that's going to show up in uh, separate ways at all, or if that's just strictly for the main game. It should, uh, honestly. Because, um, <laughs> yeah, because that, that is one sure. thing that I feel like maybe it should just as like a, a little bonus for, for people that do have that. I mean, that's what we pay for, so it better to be utilized inside of <laughs> Right. Um, other thing that I'm not so sure about is actually the uh, the soundtrack, right? Because we can play the, the original soundtrack with the original sound effects and stuff like that, and I'm not sure if that's going to carry over into this DLC either. But it wouldn't make logical sense for it not to consider it. It's still part of the game. I agree, but Capcom has done Capcom strange things. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I Verano, but then Hunk sounds played when you have to turn on classic in R2? Uh, I, bu I believe it did. Yeah. And that was how he's literally going backwards from Leon's point of view. Uh, Cotton with you, break. She broke the box. <laughs> That's it. Par time paradox. <laughs> okay, so, and I kind of want to pause this. So, like, you see these little, um, these little icons here. This is actually just showing, um, distance from, from that grappling point. Uh, I thought this was just, like, a timer initially when I saw that, but it, it's not. It's just distance. Imagine you are not invincible when you do the grapple point, I swear to god. Oh, dude, if they not- if we not invincible doing that shit, man, uh, it's GG's. I don't do it that shit This game has been kind of flaky with the iframe, so it won't surprise me. Basically. I like that new kick, though. Yes. Spin kick and get it. She got the fan kick again. She's three kicks so far. And a backflip. <laughs> there you go. I'm counting that. It's a foot. One thing I do like about this DLC so far is that it seems like we're also going to some of the points that we've already been through at different points, different points of time as well. So how the did. Yeah, so like, like the castle, I don't think we've ever been uh, been there during the daytime, which I think that's pretty new. Yeah, no, that's not, that's, that's definitely new. You never go there during the only day. The only point in time you go to somewhere during the day is literally at the beginning of the game, the village. Oh, uh, I'm just gonna go back a couple of seconds here because that was this area right here. I don't believe we actually go through this area in the main game. No, and I think people have pointed out pointed that out as well as that this is looking like an area that was from uh, not from the original, but actually from one of the uh, the cut builds of Resident Evil Four. That is interesting. Yeah. Uh, there is actually one other thing, and I kind of just want to go back here really quick, and I'll... I'll uh, get back to gameplay in a moment. Uh, there's this weird shit here with uh, Ada's eye, and I don't know if that's, like, like surgically uh, implanted, or if that's just a video might effect. Be a content lens. I think it's, yeah, weird, <laughs> some weird, like, neo-tech. Yeah, I just thought that was kind of weird. I wanted to point that out because it was. Uh, yeah, it was weird, but know. I think it's the context, just from the coloring of the um or eye. Because like you see, like you see the clear portion going closer to her eyelid. Oh, like, right here. Contact lens. Yeah. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah. So uh, just definitely contact lens. Just something that I thought I'd point out before we uh, move on here. I 
How much condition do the characters use, though? A lot. <laughs> So, oh, he hit a wall, that's why he got extra stunned. Yeah, yeah. So, this I thought was kind of cool here, and I'll just kind of go back a little bit. Um, so, you can kind of use that grapple hook to your advantage where you can like stun them a bit, kick them, and you know, end up doing like the uh, the melee hits on enemies like that if you uh, know where you're going to be placing your shots at. Amateurs. Like thing. <laughs> <laughs> it appears to me it's just getting there, but anyway. Yeah, like, this is definitely the most welcome addition. I just hope there's actually some iframes with this. Because the last mm. thing I need right now is some fucker tentacles coming in and hit me mid on the ground. I, I, got a, I got a better issue for you. Um, arrow midway through the animation just hits you in the fucking face. I, I ran to get arrow, then a freaking um, tentacle hit me. They do a lot more damage. Wee. So yeah, we, we got like the uh, quests coming back in separate ways as well, which is nice. And uh, here I wanted to point out as well, like you can see that she's not using the black tail. She's using the uh, Punisher, which was something that she was able to use in Mercenaries in the original uh, RE4, but not in uh, separate ways. Well, she does also hold another gun earlier point the um gameplay glitch so i'm wagering that she can't get other guns yeah but i'm dead in, if i'm not dead man this one's from the merchant yeah yeah i can believe that and i do think that that is also a welcome change personally because one of the things that i was talking about recently with uh just the initial announcement of this dlc was that i was kind of hoping that we would see ada be able to use other weapons and maybe hopefully be able to upgrade these weapons as well because that was something we weren't able to do in the original separate ways um you were kind of forced to either sell your weapons or hope that the um, enemies would drop you ammo in certain points when things got really bad and you were running low on oh, stuff shit, hit my microphone. My bad. <laughs> you're good you're good uh but yeah yeah it's it's um it's one of the things that I was kind of hoping to see because we we saw earlier that she was using the uh, the bolt action rifle like you mentioned, Brandon, um, which is also something that she was not able to use in the original separate ways or mercenaries for that matter. Yeah. Now to give Capcom a little credit for the original, at least her guns were specced uh, appropriately to her game's difficulty. Mm. But finally, we're able to give us a, a, the option to customize Ada any way we want to now. It's a godsend. Yeah. I am also wondering though, like, um, since we know that she can get a different sniper rifle, a different handgun, uh, if that might also mean that we'll see the other SMG make its way into the gameplay, or even a, a different one that Leon isn't able to use. Uh, same thing with maybe the shotgun. We already know that she has her, her custom shotgun with the uh, custom pistol grip, but we don't know if she'll be able to get a different shotgun later down the line or just any one of the shotguns that is already available in the game. Yeah, I think that, um, I think that she may have more um, unique weapons or at least unique upgrades for herself. Mm. But overall, I doubt Kakam will go to extra mount or give her something completely new. Yeah. But what I would definitely want, though, is to see, get super weapons a lot sooner than um, we expected in the main game. For example, the MP5. Mm -hmm. Like, you get a gun so late that it's not necessarily worth switching out your, um, what's the TMP? Yeah. Yeah. Or, um, over the, um, MP5. So, the Capcom shoot gives the option to at least have certain guns a lot sooner as a, you know, compared to Leon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see that too. Yeah, that, I feel like that would be a good, good and welcome addition. Uh, especially given the fact that Separate Ways is probably going to be significantly shorter, too. So it would make sense well, to get that stuff earlier. Well, according to a particular someone, really enough, this this DLC is going to be around 69 hours long, give or take. Mm -hmm. And that is so depressing to hear, considering it's longer than RE3. Well, I meant, like, shorter than the main game, is what I, what I was oh, getting yeah, at. Yeah, that, that's naturally, of course, but mm -hmm. in terms of, like, the natural limit, though, like, that's pretty good for... $14. Yeah. Well, and I would I would say in, in that regard, it's longer than 
probably longer than the original separate ways. So yeah, yeah, more or less, yeah. So I think it'd be the original around like forty-five hours. Yeah. yeah. Um, you took it slow. Yeah. Um. Well, and before I go ahead and hit play on this additional gameplay here, um, one thing I do want to ask both of you guys: like, do you think that they might have implemented some aspects of assignment Ada into this new separate ways? Uh, to some detail, the thing shows anything remotely close to assignment Ada. Hmm. The clue on collecting the viper stuff either, like the way it worked in the original. Yep. So we're we're gonna find out until when the um, DLC is out. Alrighty. Oh, and if you guys want me to stop anywhere, just let me know. Oddly well behaved here. Yo, Gigante. Yeah. Leon, he's aggressive as shit. <laughs> so, you notice the color of her bow gun now? It's yellow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the bow gun, that's a new thing. No. Well, let me rephrase. It looks new. <laughs> De definitely changed in appearance. Changes in appearance, yeah, but it's not a new it's the same weapon, thing. yeah. Otherwise, probably. Yeah, it looks the same, but it's also smaller too, really, though. No. Why are you using a shotgun there? Why did you miss three times I've had it? Ah, amateurs. Also, yeah, That's they, uh... change for Wesker, by the way. Hmm? Is that a silver ghost or no? I can't tell. No, it's a custom M9 and it's not his samurai edge either. I wonder if we'll have the suppressor in uh, mercenaries. Ah. Considering there's stealth in this game, that would actually be useful this time. Right. Also, um, I can confirm one thing actually. There is professional mode, and yet you can S plus rank it. Oh, another speed run! Yay, I love those. those. <laughs> hey, at least you're not required to get a platinum this time. So. <laughs> yeah, but you're not required to do S plus uh, pro speed run either. <laughs> what do you think they're gonna lock behind S plus for separate ways? The cat again. Yeah, probably the cat ears, or maybe an alpha. Or a OPS gun. Just get me that dress immediately. Yeah, that's what I really want to dress. Oh, never mind. It's a level something. What? She had uh, one of the capsules on her. The viral yeah, that containers. Could, that could be one she had on um, earlier from the story, mandatory. Yeah. Also, did she reverse grip her knife in the original? I don't remember that. Ah, uh, yeah, I think she did. did no, she? no, no, she didn't. No, she didn't. No, when she um does her stance, whatever she does it normally. But yeah, uh, I don't think she ever actually does. That's a waste of a sniper shot. That's also a waste of a sniper shot. Disgusting. You so, could have sniped that with the pistol. Yeah. Now this is a new mechanic that she did. Like she comes in like Batman, and just um hits enemies. I wonder why Leon yeah. didn't get one of these things. Cause he's too heavy. <laughs> he's too heavy, okay. <laughs> Considering he does a fucking slam dunk on a transforming fly in RE6. I don't know. That's too heavy.
Excuse me. Just goose. <laughs> So Ada has abs. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, and I could actually pull up the uh, the other trailer really quick too. Oh, uh, while you do that though, uh, Noah's actually actually got affected this time around. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's new. A, that was a big guitar part from the original. Yeah, that is definitely new, um, because they didn't do that before. Uh, one thing that people were pointing out with this particular trailer, and we'll kind of get over, uh, go over it, is that there's certain locations and stuff that are brought back in separate ways. So, and I just wanted to stop here because uh, pretty much everybody really enjoyed the um, the interactions with Lewis in the main game and kind of felt like it was just more or less like testing grounds for how a, like an AI partner would work in a Resident Evil 5 remake or even just co-op in a Resident Evil 5 remake. And I feel like this particular section is going to do more so of that as well. But can I oh, say, yeah, hey, come on, hey, come on. As long as it's all my co still, though, like, the core into into RE5, I don't care. Yeah. Chris, Sheva, Chris, Sheva. Come on! <laughs> no. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, partner. This I thought was cool, too, where you could just pull the shields off. Uh, oh, that fucking special shot would look like I heard. And suck a bunch. Hold on. I'm just gonna go back a couple seconds here. Oops. You know something that nobody talked about when the game came out? They cut out the room where you get trapped in some type of cage with a bunch of enemies show up. Yeah. So I wonder if they're gonna do that here. Also, I wanted to kind of point out, uh, this was an area that was cut out in from the main game. Uh, and it looks like this time around they might have moved the location of it as well. So rather than having it in the beginning of the game, it looks like it's actually on the island this time around. Yeah. And... Uh, it actually makes sense, nothing to consider. Yeah, and, and part of the reason why I think that too is just... Look at the, the enemy that she's like shooting here too, right? So, like, it's an interesting change because an area that we're used to seeing in the in the main game now is, like, just in a completely different part of the game. But is, for lack of better terms, right, is just finally back, right? It's, it's pretty cool to see. Also, I don't know if this area right here is new or not. Um, and I forget... I forget if uh, she ever fine. fights the Gyaradors either. She does, she fights one, uh, remember the location I, I was mentioning earlier? Where the cage comes down in the castle and you gotta fight a bunch of enemies in the Gyarador? Oh, she the, uh, the yeah. hourglass, right? Yes. Fuck that room, by the way, I'm so glad it was cut. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the explosive bolt poops on the Gyaradors. Same. I don't know if this area was in the main game or not, because this this area kind of looked new too. Uh, it looks familiar though, but I can't get a good picture of it considering that she zoomed in. Yeah. And then 
teasing you three. Yep. Uh, if you guys want, I could go back really quick for that. And... Which I'm still met on. Granted, it could be actually a good boss fight this time. Yeah, so there's our full shot of you three, because I think, I think in the notes, too, they mentioned that uh, the uh, the left hand for Salazar is officially U3 now in, in the lore. So, I'm actually wondering how they're going to uh, implement U3 and how they're going to uh, show, if, like, how this, like, boss has changed and how they, like, interact with just being in completely different environments compared to what what it was in the original game. Look, doesn't matter how it looks, though, it looks like it lacks armor compared to one Leon fought. Mm-hmm. So it could be that this one is less tanky, but it could have some other gimmicks behind it, so I'm back. And just going by observation of it could be still, you know, bulletproof armor it has. I'm... I'm also a little concerned that it's going to look a little too similar to uh, Salazar's right hand. Um, I mean, they, they already looked the same anyway in the original, so like, it, it wouldn't bother me either way, personally. Not the well. It's kind of a Frankenstein thing. Yeah, and he's got like the fucking thing that like splits off from his fucking back. Like it looked weird, <laughs> so. So I'm, I'm just a little concerned that it's going to be too similar to that particular boss. Like, I'm, I'm glad that it's back, right? And I'm glad that they put it in two separate ways to actually give it more purpose. Instead of just being like, oh, well, it was just a more or less a throwaway boss in the original RE4. And it, it makes separate ways to, to some extent, like, a little more unique in that respect. But I don't know how you guys feel about that in, in that regard. Too much right now. Stuff to see first. Laser room. <laughs> Laser room. Uh, is it just me or does it look more like the one from the uh, the live action movie? <laughs> Definitely on purpose. Science, science well, <laughs> yeah. Well, and and uh, James, James, you you said it was on purpose. <laughs> it has to be. On, it has the same coloring. It was green like this in the movie. Well, because um, you know, like the laser room was basically retconned in from the movies, right? Because the the movies did it first. Yep. Yeah. So, then yeah, um, Dark Side Chronicles, not Dark Side, um, Umbrella Chronicles, did it. Yeah, yeah, and Chris and Jill. Yeah, and they literally made that room shot for shot too in in that uh, in that it's, game. It's their favorite thing. It's a shame we don't get to see Leon do all his crazy banana shit, but oh well. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing that I was actually really disappointed in is the lack of um, Leon doing Leon things. But they gave all the show stopping stuff to Ada. Hmm. Oh, and I'm gonna go back a couple of frames here because they uh, they kind of speed through all of this. I have no idea what the fuck he's holding, what the fuck he's plotting in his book. I don't think that's a laptop. laptop. No, it looks like a binder. Is it? I think that's like basically all of his pl plans for like Uroboros and whatnot. All his plot, yeah. All that plot, yeah, it's a it's a binder. Global saturation, okay, it's a binder. Yeah, because there's something on there too, and I wouldn't be surprised if it like had like a project name or if it literally just said Ouroboros on it. So, uh, also we get a better shot of Wesker here too for the first time, because uh, we we've only seen him just behind the counter here, um, but not from any other angle other than just from the uh, monitors that he's facing. Pretty much the exact same as he's always been, just with a new outfit and new voice. So that's about it. Appearance-wise, he looks exactly the same, which I'm fine with. There's nothing to change with Wesker. I do hope he do get his, um, his classic RE4 outfit as a skin. Yeah, get the suit. Yeah, even, even just for Mercs or, well, 
Well, if it was also available for separate ways in the main game, like if you could just... Kind of like how DMC5 does it, where like you could change the costumes for the non-playable characters and it still appears in cutscenes and stuff like that, I think that'd be pretty nice. Well, he's also a playable character in Mercenaries, remember? Yeah, yeah. I, I know, I'm just saying like, like it would be nice just to have those costumes too also apply to uh, the cutscenes and stuff. Be sick if he had a star's outfit, but I don't know if we're gonna do that. Yeah, probably not. Lewis. She's so actually talking to a bottle. <laughs> oh, and... Uh, I mean... Oh, is that Ashley? Yes. And, uh, just real quick, too. We got a better shot of her face, like, all, like, infected and stuff like that, too, which we didn't see that before, either. Uh, if only that was me. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Since we get to see uh, Sadler, I'm like, I hope Sadler does something this mm. time around. That is that is one huge negative from the original, like, the base version of RE4 remake, is Sadler is nothing in this game compared to the original, so, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he, ha well. he has a boss fight in the original, so oh. we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I'm gonna see, like, he does have a boss fight, so he definitely will have some extra scenes in, in here, but I'm, I doubt I'm saying it'll be extensive. Char yeah, character-wise, because his character is kind of crap in this game. Uh, this guy's definitely not gonna change. They ain't gonna do that, all that. True, I guess. I would listen. A man can dream. Yep. Keep dreaming. Dream it. Ah shit. Well, while Dom constantly breaking his bowl, um, how are you guys doing? We're over here just chilling out, talking about some RE4. Ada looks like she's hitting the dab right now. Yeah. Lucky. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry about that. I had to get the door. Uh, so I don't know what you guys were saying uh, while I left. Probably, don't worry about it. It. <laughs> probably roasting me indefinitely, guaranteed. <laughs> guaranteed. Uh, yeah, I also wanted to point out too that we get like this neat cutscene of uh, Ada like dodging some attacks from U three as well here. And uh, actually, there looking like a snack. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10, Brandon would pay for those cosplay pics of uh, oh, Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Top dollar would pay for those Ashley cosplay pics from the actual model. <laughs> oh, how bold are you some that will pay? And I don't know if we get a hand here, but it's like... I don't know if this is supposed to be Krauser coming up from the shadows, because she does fight Krauser in the original, right? Oh, and like a hand to me. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be Krauser's hand, or if that's just supposed to be some random dude, or whatever the case may be, right? So we might Beautiful be... Beautiful generator. Well, I mean, yeah, we did see, uh, I think in the first trailer, the uh, Iron Maidens, so... So it's not uh, entirely impossible. Bullied by these thick people, man! I swear. Yeah, you know, so mean to me. <laughs> so why is everyone so mean to me? And then we get this really oh. cool confrontation here, right? With the goat. Albert Wesker <laughs> off his ass baby. this time. So not and in the control room, which is rare for him. Not in the control room. Completely, you know, just different from the original. Um, also confronting Ada, which did not happen in the original either. Nope. We know for a fact that he definitely got a sample from her, but unlike in the original, um, Ada turned on him. Um, right from the get go, versus just giving him a fake sample, to the, or sorry, a weaker sample. She was very so, Team Leon in the first game, in the original version, so. Yep. See how it is now. 
Also, I... Uh, s- uh, oh, go on. Hmm? Uh, go uh, on. So go I just wagering that he just um, comes in, beat her ass a little bit, or just learn her, give her the serum, or, sorry, the blood that move on. Yeah. Although, it would be interesting if they give us a Wesker boss fight. That would be new. That'd be different. <laughs> I can see how she would actually beat Wesker, but all right. I mean, we, we know she didn't beat her, but beat him. No. Also, something I wanted to point out here, too, is that uh, Wesker's got, you know, his custom M9 here. Um, something that I did not point out in my original video, too, is that it looks like this is based on his... Um, well, not his, but it's based on this uh, replica that that was made in Japan that has, like, this uh, blue umbrella, like, branding and everything on it with a uh, shorter barrel and stuff like that. Um... The only difference being is that this one's chromed out and the other one was just all black. So, just thought I'd point that out. I don't know if this is going to have any significance in terms of lore, uh, if this is supposed to be like a, just a new custom handgun for him, or if this is just a random handgun and they didn't really feel like using the Samurai Edge for this game. Uh, or maybe they want to hold off on the Samurai Edge until the Resident Evil 5 remake and give more context as to why he's even bothering to use that specific gun in RE5 remake. Who knows? And just another shot of Wesker up close, personal. Got the shades. Facial details that uh, you normally get to see with like RE Engine and stuff like that. Um, also a different angle of his handgun, so. He's got the meme angle. The meme angle. <laughs> <laughs> put it up on FaceApp. <laughs> I'll, I'll put it through FaceApp, we'll use it on, uh, on the thumbnail maybe. Oh, genius. Yeah, and then trailer just ends there, and then we just get an update on, or not an update, but we get that tomorrow in our case. Yep. Yep. Tomorrow in my case too, but I think it's like I gotta wait like an additional six hours before I can even get that uh, DLC and just stuff to like that. Make sure you download it. Yeah. ASAP. So, uh, with that in mind, we got all of that out of the way, right? Uh, is there any other gameplay that I did not see, uh, or that you guys wanted to share in here, but, so that way we could talk about it, maybe, or...? Uh, not in my world. I haven't been keeping all the separate ways, uh, I have my other focus on something else. That yeah, and I'm like, you know what? we haven't seen already. Yeah, basically. All right. Pretty much, you know, her well, I say all her mechanics, most of them, I'm sure. Alrighty, so any any thoughts or hopes for separate ways before it comes out tomorrow? I just hope it's just honestly quality. That's all I want, just quality. Cause like, I gotta give them credit though for ten dollars though. We seem like we're getting something pretty juicy out of it. Mm hmm. I agree. Um, I mean the original game. The separate ways side content was pretty good. Yeah, it was. It was only like five hours casually. Yeah, about like. four to five hours. So this, they said it was like ten hours. So like, okay, we got more content. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> there's, one, there's one section they didn't show, which was the the battleship uh, docking area from the original. I'm like, hmm, is that gonna be here yeah. or not? They could put that on the island this time. If she goes to the military, well, she just goes to the military island, so I guess so. But, oh, I hope that part's not as annoying. That was one uh, low point in her campaign. Yeah. That shit got kind of ridiculous. Yeah, part of the only blemish on that um, for, um, campaign, for sure. That is uh, the one area I'm, I wouldn't lose sleep over losing if we got something different for it. She better go to the lava room, that's all I gotta say. Bring it back. <laughs> Give I'm us the shitty even, war quality. I, in hindsight, I kind of hate that they removed that. I like all the dumb sh stuff. Put it back in. I would yeah, I have to make sense. Room. I would take the lava room over the ship room just just for the fact that it's much easier to deal with. 
so long as they get rid of the flamethrowers though, I'd be fine with the lava room. I just want it to be like a pseudo platform range type thing. You go in, do your shit, kill enemies, and get out. Give you more of a reason to use the grappling hook too, since it's a she could, yeah, she could bigger mechanic. Dragons, that'd be interesting. I uh, I also agree with you, Brandon, in that I do want the JPEG waters to uh, return for the lava. I cannot believe you didn't know that for the longest time. I had to point it out that it literally is just the water texture recolored. Uh, yeah, because yeah, I, I never bothered to look. I never bothered to look. Well, I think... I think just because it's an HD, you could actually see that. I'm pretty sure on the original resolution, you could not tell. Especially with all the bloom effect. They, the bloom probably hit most of the texture. Yeah. They blind you so you won't see the shit textures. <laughs> yeah. They wouldn't think for you to look down there, so why would you? I don't remember why I was looking down there, but I just noticed it. Like, wait a second. It's water. This is all a lie. <laughs> I think you looked in passing. And uh, because of that, I think both me and Brandon, maybe even you, James, just want to see that modded into the PC version of the game. Just shitty lava textures on purpose i'll take it <laughs> and, you know, speaking of water though i actually want to take this conversation to the mercenaries i hope they give us water world yeah i i have a very very soft spot for that map for some reason because it's not in the game at all for making yeah, it it's, it's just it's there. like a isn't it like a isn't the actual like real life lore quote unquote behind it it was like a test map for mercenaries or just mechanics in general there's a lot of vertical stuff you hop off, so I'm wondering if they were just testing how the character moves through the terrain. It makes sense, actually. It looks like a beta map. Like, you see it, even because you could see it in HD, how uh, the back ends of the map look kind of unfinished. Well, they're, they're literally just JPEGs. Yeah, so I'm like, well, the way they did it doesn't look that good compared to the main game, so I'm like... Yeah, I wonder if this was like one of the first maps they were making to test how the characters move. I, uh, so I want to see Waterworld. It has a zipline, doesn't it? Yeah. I think, yeah. I think it does. They pretty, they literally have every, like, moving mechanic in that map. So I, I, that's my bet, is that it was a test map. So I, I want to see that map. The only concern that I have with it, though, is that, um, similar to the, uh, military base, uh, they they might decide to make it smaller because the military base was a much bigger map and in the remake they seem like they based it off of the mercenaries 3d rendition of that map which is like half the size of the actual map honestly it felt like more like an re5 map yeah what the uh the remake version of the military base yeah it felt like i was playing resident evil 5 7 resident evil 4 admittedly yeah, well, I don't think it was a Nicker event thing. That's, it just felt like a Resident Evil 5 map in terms of design and, um, and verticality. Well, yeah, and, and that's that's kind of why I'm saying like it's why I why I kind of hope that One World isn't going to be a smaller map because of the fact that like you know that map specifically it just feels like what they did was they just took the design from Mercenaries 3D. Which Mercenaries 3D in on itself was based on RE5 Mercenaries anyway. So I'm not too surprised that, like, you know, people like yourself might feel that way where it's like, oh yeah, well, it feels like an RE5 map because it kind of is based off of, like, how that game was meant to be played. Interesting. Speaking of Mercenaries, what will Ada's uh, superpower thing be? Oh, yeah, because oh, we got birds. Yeah, yeah, I hope honestly, it's not just a carbon copy of Leon's power up, because that's lame. Honestly, it's up in the air, though, because like, it could, could literally be anything. I. Well, see, I kind of hope it's not going to be like the thing that they did in um, Reverse, where she, she just uh, grapple hooks any point in the middle of you know, the sky and uh, just drops a. Uh, you know, explosive bolt on the ground. Alright. Yeah, that power relation was pretty bad. So I'm kind of hoping that's not the case. Um, it also makes me wonder what Wesker's uh, power-up ability is going to be. We already know what he's going to do. 
Loop and zop, zip and bop around the whole damn map. <laughs> Probably. I think it was already shown off. Unless um it was Leon's actually um Leon's thing. I don't remember. Cause I, I know with the uh <coughs> leaks <coughs> uh we, we saw well, the Wesker and uh he was uh, pretty pretty baller. Probably just goes fully hand to hand. I can yeah, see honest, honestly his hands are more deadly than his handgun. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, you can catch these hands. His, 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 his martial arts is more dangerous than his firearm. Remember that. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm picturing that uh, one point in RE5 where he fucking uh, puts his hand through Spencer's chest, and it's just on on yeah. you know coming out of his back. <laughs> like that's what yeah, I'm picturing. Fifty BFG. <laughs> So, um, I'm, I want to ask you guys though, um, what do you hope they do with the loadouts? Because uh, the original loadouts for RE4 for those two characters weren't the best, per se. Um, Ada's more no. so was worse, I would yeah. say, just because Ada's just never been a well-designed character for mercenaries, and I'm saying that as somebody who... Leon and Ada were the, definitely the weakest uh, loadout in the original. I will say this though, Ada was more competent than Leon and Vanilla Mercenary, so I gotta give her that much, right? But I don't, I expect her loyal to be identical as possible and not exactly the same. With one exception maybe, they probably will take out the sniper rifle and give her an explosive bolt. Yeah, I feel like the crossbow will be there. I wonder if she could get TMP. Or whatever that, that machine gun she had on her was. That was a TMP. Okay, I'm making sure. Yeah, so I wager maybe a handgun? Or SMG for like general distance, you no know, close quarters combat. A uh, sniper rifle and our bowgun. Or it would be TMP, shotgun, bowgun. So, one thing that I do think, if we're just going off of the renders, right? Because I do think that the renders are pretty accurate to what the loadouts are going to be as far as like the, the primary weapon, right? Um, she's holding the black tail like she's supposed to be holding it in separate ways, and that's on the official website. Uh, so, so uh, did I say sideways? I meant to say separate ways. <laughs> Is your mode being ghetto? Yes. <laughs> like yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> straight, uh, straight from uh, RE2. That that exact animation with the uh, Colt 45. Back on her head, says I'm ready. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. No. Um, so what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking they're gonna do, is um, she's definitely gonna have the black tail that frees up two slots because originally she had the Punisher in Mercenaries, which took up six slots in the inventory case. Um, and I do think that. If she is gonna have the sniper rifle, it's possible she might have the bolt action rifle instead of the semi-auto rifle. It's possible. Oh. It's possible. Um, oh, so balance how a loadout that actually could be the case. Yeah. Um, because they what they could do is they could also throw in the TMP and the shotgun. Because again, they're freeing up two two inventory slots now because of the black tail. Um, and in order to free up more slots and to justify her her having more weapons, they could give her the weaker of the two guns as far as sniper rifles go as well. And then we have Mr. Wesker for uh, Merc's loadouts. Yeah. yeah. He had a silenced pistol, Killer 7, and the semi-auto rifle. I wonder, I hopefully he keeps the semi-auto rifle because that thing is boss. Yeah, quite frankly, I don't see Kakam Chichi's loadout way too much. Maybe at most take away his um, silence pistol because, like, at the point, why? So there's no stealth in um and mercenaries, right? So he pulled this out. Well, and one Garador in the castle comes to get you. Well, and most people actually drop the suppressor because it takes up two slots in the original RE4 remake. Uh, RE4, sorry, the original RE4 mercs they uh, they would drop the suppressor because it, it takes up those slots. Uh, and the only time people keep it on usually is just for the castle stage because of the fact that you could get chased by the Garadors. I'm glad, I hope his pistol stays, or not his pistol, the Magnum is still the Killer 7 since the Killer 7 is goaded in the remake. So, hypothetically speaking, right, because we 
we don't know. His loadout is going to be a little bit more interesting, I think, compared to Ada's. Uh, because we really don't know what he's going to get. And starting off, we can already see that, well, both characters are going to have their handguns swapped out. Um, hypothetically speaking, if he was not going to have the Killer 7 or the semi-auto rifle, what two weapons would you replace those with? Or, or one weapon, depending on how you're going to make this loadout. out. Uh, that's a loaded question because I, I don't remember all of his, um, the, all the weapons in the game would be different. Uh, well, take out the Killer 7, 7, then, you know what? Give him the Broken Killer 5. At least give him a Magnum or a powerful weapon to have. Like, I mean, after all, it is Wesker, right? You should, you should feel the power from the character. Well, uh, technicality, he should be the strongest Mercs character. Although, no, with Hunk and Krauser, he, he's definitely got more competition. My friends, though, that was only his competition still. So nothing has changed, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Hunk, Hunk, especially with the friggin' infinite ammo, hard to beat that. Yep, it's also a lot safer than using um, Krauser's thing because you can still get, get one shot about a damn chainsaw. That's fine. Krauser takes more effort. I'll take it. I'm not sure what a replacement would. So, um, so kind of like based off of what you were saying, Brandon, it, it kind of sounds like you want something similar to like his RE5 loadout because he did have a handgun a Magnum loadout in RE5 for one of his costumes at least. More or less, I guess. Um, because the only other alternative loadout that he had was like handgun and uh, triple barreled shotgun. If I remember right, in RE5. Uh, the triple barrel shotgun is for his um, stars. Uniform. Stars, yeah. The hydro. Yeah. Good old the hydro. hydro. And I forgot what the handgun was. And for for black coat, I forgot we had because I never really used black coat because uh, he didn't have the hydro. I believe. He has mid. He has midnight outfit. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about his default. His black. Um, yeah, that's midnight. Yeah, he all he had was a pistol and the lightning hawk. That's it. Yeah. Okay. I believe in his nighthawk outfit he had. Uh, I want to say he had the P two two eight. And in in his uh, stars costume he had his samurai edge with the uh, the hydra. I think that's what, what the setup was, but if somebody knows in, in the comment section, or, or if we end up remembering it, we'll leave it in the comment section down below, <laughs> so. Um, I think, like, for me, it'd be kind of difficult to think of, like, what Wesker could use, because, like you guys mentioned, he's, he's, like, this powerhouse character, right? So, like, you want to, like, see him just do, like, really powerful things with very powerful weapons, right? Um, respect the power. <laughs> call these hands. Yeah, respect these hands, right? Um, I could honestly, like, I could honestly see them throwing in, like, the striker, maybe. Um, if they were gonna go, like, the shotgun route. Yeah, if they wanted to throw, throw in a shotgun instead. I could see them doing that. Um, yeah. Because, like, if, assuming he's not going to get a, uh, you know, a, like, power stopping, you know, a uh, stopping power magnum, right? <laughs> like, God forbid they give him an SMG. That's really GG <laughs> on everything. It's just, it just stunlock, stunlock, stunlock. <laughs> Fucking tiger yeah. palm, tiger palm. <laughs> like, yeah, that's all it is. <laughs> yeah. The fucking, um,. Oh, doesn't he also have like the drop kick? Not the drop kick, but like he um, he does the, the thing. Kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A uh, windfall or whatever it's called. I'm a nerd. I should remember this. You know, um, real quick too before we wrap things up here, like uh, I could actually see them adding in maybe like his um, running abilities too from uh, RE5. And technically RE zero as well. Yeah, yeah, I can see them. Yeah, After all, what we saw earlier <laughs> wasn't complete, so anything is up for um, grabs. Hmm. He definitely has the best parry. 
just from uh, <laughs> things we've seen. Yep. Alrighty, so uh, with Mercs out of the way, um, any final thoughts on Mercs or separate ways or, or even if you guys have any thoughts on the VR mode, if you guys want to talk about that for a little bit. Ah, oh, wow, well, yeah, I actually kind of forgot about the VR mode because I was too engrossed into it and I was, yeah, um, I hope the VR mode is just as goofy as um, 8, the VR mode, <laughs> able to do will and just you do can. the point. Yeah, they, hey, they showed hey, the heap hey, of dual-wielding handguns. I was like, damn, go. it's already six already. <laughs> yeah, I want to do goofy shit again. I will, I will smack Ashley's butt and run away. Just like how that one guy did. Late, don't I was it. joking with Brandon. I'm like, so people are going to try to look up her skirt now since they can bend their heads, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the only one. Please tell me. You guys are going to do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It's tradition. Like, uh, so it, it'll, hopefully, it'll be like uh, RE, RE Village slash RE, RE4 original VR mode. Because um, that game also had RE, uh, or RE. It also had uh, VR mode, right? Um, oh, well, hey, VR game, <laughs> necessary mode. Yeah, yeah. Um, which... Now we can literally say both RE, like RE4 original and RE4 remake can be played in VR, which is kind of neat, right? Um, one thing I did want to point out too, and this kind of irked me just as far as like details are concerned, because like Capcom, generally speaking, is pretty good for like attention to detail on stuff. But uh, the one thing that kind of irked me was like um, the MP5. In the game right um in the main game it doesn't have any iron sights in the vr mode it does i'm i'm betting they did it just because you know it would be annoying to aim with it without it yeah i mean i get that i just you know i'm just annoyed by that simply as not only a gun up but just somebody who likes attention to detail and i feel like they could easily just patch that in. It's like such a small thing. Like I don't, I don't see why it's not on the weapon. Right. Actually, before we wrap wrap up, uh, one other thing I want to ask about VR mode: Do you guys think separate ways is going to be playable in VR? Because I could understand mercenaries not being playable that way, but separate ways. I'm a yes, little interested. but not right away. Yeah, I've been saying both. I'm wagering they will do it sometime after launch, maybe for both the game modes. But considering how they handled um, was it village? I wouldn't give a whole up. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I I wouldn't expect it. I'm expecting like bare minimum when it comes to um, just the overall stuff that we're gonna get. Like, I don't necessarily think it's going to be bad, I just don't think that we're, we're going to see, like, above and beyond stuff like additional char character models, um, or costumes rather, right? Uh, outside of the stuff that was uh, leaked. Oops. <laughs> um, and I don't, I don't think, like, um, I don't think we're going to see, like, more than what Capcom is willing to put in, which is kind of unfortunate because I think most people would appreciate that stuff. But who knows? We'll see, right? Could be proven wrong. Could not be. We don't know. So, anyway, uh, while we wrap up here, uh, where can we find you, Mr. Brandle. Um, you can find me on X, aka Twitter. I knew he was gonna say that, bro. I knew it. <laughs> Fucking stupid, Nick. Yeah, you can like see us X, on X videos. X videos, X That's it, Dom. We're X demonetized. X Pack it up. It's over. I mean, it's not my fault that they renamed the website, so... <laughs> Man is a billionaire, but he has the mindset of an Xbox Live gamer. 
yeah, good old days. But yeah, you can find me on Twitter at Immortal Frenal. My link tree is there. Some other associations. And yeah, everything else is on your damn business. Alrighty, what about you, James? You can find me on Twitter at DevHunterJames, as usual. Alrighty, and... I mean X. <laughs> yeah, well, you can find both of their X videos. I mean, what? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, you all can usually find me as BioDevil underscore Dom on YouTube, if you're somehow not watching this on YouTube. Uh, X video, I mean X, X. <laughs> Um, formerly Twitter as uh, biodevil underscore dom um, and technically also Instagram although I'm only just doing promotions for any of the content that we do here uh, that being all said though um, I will probably be doing a video soon on the Onimusha anime stuff because I'm really excited about that I definitely want to be talking about some of my fan theories and speculations regarding what's going to be happening with that uh and maybe an update video on a certain company that canceled the very certain remake mm. <laughs> so uh stay tuned for all that but until then uh we hope you all enjoyed the video and uh we hope to see you in the next one see ya